Hi there everyone, what's happening? And today I would like to show you an incredible chess game by the five times United States chess champion Jackson Webb's Showalter with the white pieces and his opponent was William William Arthur Heller and uh, not very well known American chess master at the time so this chess game was played in 1890 and Jackson Webb's Showalter was a pretty colorful chess player uh, he was, as I said, the five times United States chess champion. He became the US champion in 1890 for the first time. And then, uh, respectively, in 1892, uh, 94, 95. And finally, he also won the US chess championship in 1906 and in 1909. So he was a chess player, particularly from that era from the late 19th century, early 20th century and uh, he also won some important matches against some of the important masters at the time and he lost to some other important chess players just like uh, chess players like Harry Nelson Pillsbury twice but in his first match against the genius Pillsbury it was a narrow defeat, it was head to head he beat Pillsbury 8 times, lost 10 times and they drew 3 times a tough nut to crack uh, Showalter and he also lost to Lesker uh, and his score his, his lifetime uh, his score against Lesker in matches is uh, he defeated Lesker two times and lost six times and he drew two times against Lesker <clears throat> which is not bad against Lesker so also he competed in many chess tournaments in his chess career uh, and Showalter was known as the Kentucky chicken because he was born in Kentucky that was his birthplace and according to the legend he enjoyed eating Kentucky chicken especially fried chicken and he also liked to enjoy uh, french fries next to the chicken so a very intimidating name Kentucky chicken showalt <laughs> I'm just messing with you uh, he was basically known as the Kentucky Lion, not Chicken. Uh, he was born uh, in Kentucky uh, and because of his bushy hair, uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, he was known as the Kentucky Lion. It resembled lion's mane, you know. Uh, and uh, of course, because of his playing strength and because he was from Kentucky, they called him the Kentucky Lion, Jackson Whips. Showalter, a heck of a chess player. So, and you will know better why he was known as the Kentucky Lion, uh, Kentucky Lion, after watching this chess game. So, e4, e5, knight to f3, <laughs> Kentucky chicken. Uh, no, he was not chicken, he was a lion. Most definitely, he was a predator. So, watch this Evans Gambit, boom, already exciting. So, he was playing a pretty aggressive, fun chess actually. So, uh, he intended to sacrifice two pawns, but for the quick rapid activity. So we have d6, knight to c3, knight to a5, bishop to g5, and f6. What, what's happening here? So you can see that both bishops is under attack. With which bishop to save? Of course, the dark square bishop, bishop to h4, and then knight to e7, because if black captures the light square bishop, we have four king the king and the knight. So immediately getting back the piece uh, and white is better slightly better in that variation so black wants to ca castle but because of this bishop it's not that simple rook over we have knight to g6 attacking the bishop and look at this showalter is moving forwards e5 full steam ahead and we have d takes and then Knight takes, look at this, Showalter is very aggressive and we have knight takes knight. If knight takes bishop, uh, that's actually, uh, there is a mating attack with queen to h5, but I'm a simple man, knight to c6 is going to win the queen and win the chess game and this should be sufficient actually. So in this position, knight takes and then Showalter is not hitting the break, rook takes on e5 by the Kentucky Lion. What an attack. Well, of, of course, this pawn is pinned if capturing the rook, capturing the queen, and 
king moves, I mean, if capturing the rook, then actually queen to h5 is stronger because black is getting checkmated in this possible continuation. And if king to d7, then queen to g4, that's check. And white has a mating attack. This is checkmate. All of the pieces of white function perfectly. So king moves and then rook takes on a5. Look at this. Throwing the kitchen sink to his opponent. Attacking all guns blazing. A rampage attack by the Kentucky Lion. Bishop takes and then threatening checkmate. So black is defending and maybe capturing the bishop comes to mind. But Showalter says, I am checkmating your king. Check and we have an incredible king hunting. King to d7. Uh, if king to d6, we have this continuation. How to defend queen to f4 checkmate cutting the escape square. If bishop takes knight, then check. And then check checkmate actually there is no good defense in this position so uh, if actually uh, this move then we have this checkmate this is also a checkmate so rook to e1 king to d7 and then bishop to b5 we have c6 blocking and then queen to g7 uh, only move and then bishop to g3 and showalter checkmates his opponent like this at move 22 what an exciting amazing chess game a very beautiful chess game a very fun uh, aesthetically pleasing chess game so uh, i hope you have enjoyed watching this and i hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games so do take care stay safe and bye bye